another video where I talk about my favorite feature on a piece of music gear. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Akai MPC Live 2. Um, it's essentially a very elaborate, very capable sampler and sequencer, um, which combines features with which you can build a whole track. So uh, all the um, recording, editing, processing, uh, very good effects from uh, from uh, from uh, recording effects to mastering effects, um, which enable you to go from nothing to a full track, uh, if you so choose. Combines this with lots of features which make it very good for live use, make it a real instrument. Um, the Akai MPC series, MPC series has a very long and uh, complicated history, um, going from being one of the really go-to sampling workstations um, in the 90s for hip-hop and dance music um, and other forms of music, to becoming later a kind of very elaborate MIDI controller for um, computer-based software. Um, and now, thankfully, um, Akai have returned it to the standalone all-in-one. Um, and in fact, the MPC2 not only runs off an a internal battery, um, but has a built-in speaker that's perfectly usable. Um, it's obviously not the same as some very high-spec uh, studio monitors, but you know, uh, if you're on the road, if you're just wandering around with your MPC with you and suddenly feel like laying something down, it's perfectly good for doing this. Um, I'd say it's something like one of the better uh, Bluetooth bullet type um, uh, speakers, but obviously it has a much flatter frequency response, so you can really do some EQing and... Uh, 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 compression and the sorts of things that need slightly more detailed listening. Um, the feature I want to look at today um, involves one of its ways of sampling. So um, uh, there are many choices for sampling. You can uh, um, add files full of samples to um, its memory, you can uh, download sample packs. There are also various live sampling um, options, and this is where it becomes a very powerful, very interesting machine. The MPC range has always been famous for the way it edits samples and chops samples up. Uh, this has a, an updated and very, very um, usable uh, uh, version of this using a touch screen, um, which, uh, brings it uh, up to a very sort of modern spec with these things. Um, the software has, uh, again, quite a long and complicated history and I think is beginning to catch up with the hardware. There were, let's say, teething problems. Um, I don't uh, use the sequencer that much. I use it more as a live instrument and as a sampler. Um, I tend to find that the way you navigate around the sequencer aspect, uh, there are too many uh, ways of, different ways of doing the same things, which I find slightly distracting, but that's um, personal. Everyone can find their own way with uh, um, the way it works. But uh, what I'll look at now is the, um, uh, live sampling, you have uh, four main kinds, where you sample whole clip, where you sample slices, and then you have pad tap and pad hold, which is where you use the pads to bring in and out the sample lengths. Um, and I'll demonstrate that. I find the results from this extremely musical. So you can, um, you can 
uh, decide on the length of sample by ear, sometimes spontaneously as you as you record something. And the way in which samples fit together, I suppose it's something to do with interpolation, works very, very musically. I really like the results and don't know a machine that does anything quite like it. Um, so I will now go over to camera two so we can have a look at the pad sampling on the MPC Live 2. Okay, so we can see the MPC 2, MPC Live 2, open at the main screen. Um, I've made a couple of settings. So on the track, I set it to clip program. What this will do is allow each of the uh, chunks of sample on each pad to loop, um, which will be useful for the demonstration. Uh, we lose some of the uh, flexibility of the uh, one-shot samples, um, which with velocity, sense of pads, and so on, but we don't so much need to look at that for this kind of sampling. Um, okay, so if we go into the sampler page for the live sampling, we have an input here coming in um, from my laptop, which will be playing a... Uh, random documentary. Um, we have the in button uh, pressed, which is uh, on, so to speak. It's armed and ready to go. So I'll start playing in some of the documentary. The reason I chose a documentary is the mixture of voices and music demonstrates very well how this sampling works. So I'll input some audio, we'll get a level and then just start sampling. Parliament alone is Okay, just going to make sovereign. a couple of adjustments. In the event it made little difference to Article 50, which sailed through the House of Commons and now I can with start an sampling. enormous majority. But in the process, Parliament had got its teeth into Brexit and it has not let go. The old guard of pro-Europe Conservatives was not willing to leave the EU without a fight. Many of your lordships have made the point that we're not here to refight the referendum campaign. In the House of Lords, Tory Grandi okay. and Europhile... I'll now turn off the uh, input. And we need to move straight to the main page. Don't um, try and play the samples from the sample page because while it's still armed, it will just start sampling again. So we go to the main page and we will find um, each of the chunks of sample mapped to um, a pad. Priority. But, in the priority. But, but there are in two the problems. But in the um, the op the op the op they are all warped and they are playing at the same time. This I don't want. So we go to the menu and we go to the program and we make sure that the edit zones are on all. So it will do this to all pads. We switch off the warp. We also switch off the pad quantize because we want the pads to fire whenever we hit them, not in time with a certain loop. And we'll leave the mute group at 32 so um, you can only play one pad at a time. That'll demonstrate a bit more clearly how this works. Okay, so now priority. we go back but in the priority. and we have this beautifully but in looping. The and I can quite happily jump around. And I find the results work really well. You don't get too much in the way of unpleasant artifacts. Of course, especially with music, you can get clipping. But nothing that's unusable. Um, and I'm not quite sure what this is for, but the implications seem really, really interesting. And although it's not as real-time as a looper, it's very, very fast. So the live applications are enormous. Um, and I have used it in theatre shows already, uh, which is very, very nice because you can move so precisely with the the people on stage, um, and which is, of course, something very important EU to me. Go. Go. Um, I think it's really very, very interesting. So for the next um, demonstration, I'll, I'll use um, 
a more uh, obviously musical uh, recording to sample. So we have something from one of rock and roll's all-time greats. Um, and what's interesting, when you use this method to sample uh, music, you can either follow the uh, rhythms or go against them or count against them or... I mean, that's really, really interesting, especially with very, very familiar music. Um, it it disrupts things in a very, very interesting way, I think. Um, and because of the way that this sampling is implemented, it does so in a way that keeps it coherent. I know other machines that can do something similar, but I don't know a machine that gets it quite as... Um, gets the disordering quite as coherent as this, if that makes any sense. Um, and also, the ma obviously, the mapping onto the pads is, is uh, extremely useful and very, very playable. Um, OK, so I'll just stop putting in this next bit of audio. And I'll just sort of adjust as we go along with the uh, gain. Oh, we don't want it to be too loud. Ground control to Major Tom Ground control to Major Tom Okay I'll just turn that off now and we will go back to the main and see what that sounds like. So the program edit settings are the same, so it will keep looping these. Uh, well, um, as my father used to say, you can't spoil a good tune. Ground control. But I think, uh, you know, I've just uh, chosen two random things as to give you quick demonstrations, but I think you can see how interesting this is. Um, so, yeah, that is the um, pad sampling from uh, the Akai MPC to live. Thank you very much for listening and watching. <laughs>